Hi, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial whilst I'm actually getting ready to record another um, video because content. Well, what even is this makeup tutorial? You're going to show people how you put makeup on? This is how I put makeup on. Where do we start? What do we do? Um, I use this Natio? I was calling sure. it NATO for a while and then like my friend started giving me sick about it so... so NATO's war stuff. Nath Nacy no. <laughs> it is war. It is... When makeup it, when it, wars. Makeup wars. All those who saw it were destroyed. All the leaders and the wise men were destroyed. So I wet my little Rankas beauty blender. Have I ever cleaned it? No. Have I had it for years? Yes. Does it spend a lot of its time rolling around in the back of a car? Also yes. I don't know how I feel about primers exactly because um, sometimes I feel that they actually make my face greasier and just slide the makeup right off. But then again, I'm not sure if that's my own natural grease. So I'd be one or the other still undecided on the primer. This is what I've been using a lot. And I gotta be honest with you, the sole reason that I use this is because of Jeffree Star. So it's Bobbi Brown's um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's supposed to be nourishing. Is it just greasy? I don't know. But Jeffree Star uses it, so I follow him like a lemming. Just get like, that's probably too much, but I just get a goop of it. You, you guys are all at home watching me like, no wonder your face is greasy, bitch. Like, and I put it on my eyes. Some people say don't put primer on your eyes, but I do. So don't. This is this is about what I do, not about what you should do or what you shouldn't do. Bit on my neck, my ears. Don't want your ears unprimed. That's that's your your first thing you should be concerned about in life. Then we move straight onto foundation. Yes, this is a bougie foundation. No, I'm not a bougie girl. This is Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk. I think I'm shade five or something. Yep, five. Um, I like this because it's not too full on and it doesn't, like it's not like a full cake face. I don't really like cakey foundation. Um, but to be honest, it's, it's supposed to be Illuminous and what I've sort of figured out that Illuminous means is it just has like shimmer in it and I think it makes my pores stand out more and like settles into my fine lines anyway I'm not sure I'm not sure if I recommend this but it's better than other things that I've used mediocre rating okay so then we get back to our rancid little face sponge put on my hand dab 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 I don't wear a whole lot I have fairly pink skin I'm aware of that and if I try to color correct too hard I just end up looking like someone that's dressed up as a vampire for Halloween like you know that cakey kind of like white face where you can like see their skin underneath it and it's not flattering kiss me and breast me my darling husband please so I'm better off just like working with the pink color and pretending that that's like my gimmick so I just do like heaps of pink eyeshadow and pink blush and pink tints to my hair and then it's like, oh, she's kind of like a bit pink. Cool. What a cool theme to have. You don't have rosacea at all. Also, I think it's worth noting that I have had two really strong coffees this morning and I am not the sort of person that can really digest that much coffee. So I'm pumped. So I feel if I do much more than that, foundation wise, it ends up looking really cakey and gross on me. So I, I don't really wear a whole heap. Just like a, a schmear of foundation. Pretty sure I've got um, eye rosacea. So like self-diagnosed off the internet, pretty sure. But... Okay, do this first before you do your foundation, your eye drops, because it's going to like stream down your face and um, I just forgot. So. What is that face I'm making? I have quite red, sad looking eyes and I'm trying to convince the world and myself that I'm okay and everything's fine. I'm using this like gross little Maybelline concealer. Why am I using it? Because the chemist sold it. 
why don't I have shape tape? Because I live in Australia and for us to get shape tape here, you have to pay as much shipping as the damn thing costs. Down under. To... Sorry. Take me to while I'm back. <laughs> Take me to while I'm To get it shipped here. So, um... And I don't really wear heaps of foundation, so I just haven't invested in that kind of, like, a thing. But I mean to. In fact, you know what? There's a, a dupe called... I'm just concealing shit now. Like, I don't normally have this kind of gross stuff. I've been using, like, vitamin B cream. Vitamin B. Vitamin... Retinol? Vitamin A. I've been using retinol. So, like, I'm purging at the moment. Um... And that's it. There's like a good dupe for shape tape, which is Rev- Revolution. The Revolution. Revolution makeup. If anyone's tried it and if it's good or if it's if it's bad, can you let me know? Can you just like tell me? Can we chat? Can we chat down below? Oh, I've done my face while it's all sticky and wet. I'm going to do... Um, I use Too Faced. Upside down. Oh, Mr. Squiggle, it's upside down. Uh, <laughs> Powder. Supposed to be a bit blurring. It's okay. You know, I'm gonna say it. I don't think I like Too Faced products very much. There, it's out there. Like, I bought their Better Than Sex mascara, and honestly, like, if if that's Better Than Sex, you're doing something wrong. Like that. That. It was clumpy. It was unnecessary, it was expensive, and then like I'd committed to buying it, so like I felt like I had to just keep using it until it was used up. And then I tried the benefit then I tried out the benefit um ultra lash mascara and oh my god, it was so much better. And then I was just mad at myself um that I had bought that other one and so then I was using it for a bit and I eventually got to the point where I was like I hate this why am I, like what am I even trying to prove like why am I using this so and I couldn't because I'm such a tight ass I couldn't justify buying another expensive one so I bought this model co and I'll show you that when I get up to my um lashes this model co mascara and that was actually really good and I would even say a dupe for that um Benefit Ultra Lash Mascara. So if you want to know that, and it's like cheap and you can buy it from the supermarket in Australia. Um, Matt, the shit out of my face. This is like my version of baking, but it's not really baking. Like I just kind of do that, let it sit for a second, and then wipe it off. Because I think that is like the most natural thing to do like I make too many facial expressions you know what I mean like I can't get away with having like a full caked on face and makeup like if you can good on you but I cannot Ashed out Kat Von D shade and light palette what's my favorite shade obviously this one in the middle it's like a good kind of taupe for my pale skin like I find any contour that's got too much orange in it is not going to work for me I don't want anything with shimmer in it like it just makes me look really boring also I've got a five head so I have to contour the ever loving life out of it to get my face into somewhat reasonable proportions chisel your double chin out of the equation Also, while we're on the subject of contour, if you have this Venus palette, the colour Divine, this one here, really good contour colour. I learnt that from Harmony Nice. Shout out to Harmony Nice and her contouring tips that are just saving us all money like you know if you've got this palette don't go buy another contour because this is a nice taupey color as well now 
we've got rid of our double chin. We've got to do the nose. This is where shit gets technical. I'm going to have to use. I'm going to just use. So what you want to do is you want to do two lines on your nose as parallel to each other. But then they're going to go out to the side and then you're going to do this bottom bit and kind of make a round tip. I've got a bit of a slippery dip nose. Can you see my profile? I've got a bit of a slippery dip nose anyway. So like... I don't have to worry about the tip too much. If anything, like I gotta kind of play down a lot of this, but it's quite bulbous, like my nose. So, um, contouring is unfortunately important for me. So, I go line. Oh my god, I've already ruined it. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just blend it out. Oh, can you see how crooked that is? We are just gonna make it into a happy accident. We are the Bob Ross of contour. Uh, try this again. Don't look at me because you're throwing me off. See how I've drawn this little like doodle on my nose? That's what we're going for. We're going to blend the heck out of it because it's a little bit extreme to walk around with unblended nose contour. Um, unless unless you are Amelia Fart and in which case you are iconic. Is this is this video of me just referencing my favourite YouTubers? Uh, side note, Amelia Fart, you reckon you've got a crush on Trisha Preyus? Well, guess what? I've got a crush on you, so jokes on you, Amelia Fart. I might actually be Amelia Fart. Like Amelia Fart is me but just like a little bit further gone. Like if I had like something more traumatic happen to me like, just one more traumatic event, I reckon, would just push me over the edge to just being full-blown Amelia Fart. Like, we are both Sagittariuses. We both are just in a constant state of existential crisis. Okay, so we're now contoured. Oh, I now put on my highlight. Pro tip. This is serious. This is real. The best highlighter, and, like that I found is honestly this one by Lush. It's so thrashed out. I can't even get a name off of it. It's called Skin Tint, right? You can, you're supposed to be able to mix this with your foundation. And then like the woman in the store was like, oh, if you just like are having a good skin day, you could wear it instead of foundation and just make skin more luminous. This stuff is so shiny. I don't know if she's ever actually put it on, but like, I don't know how you could get away with that as foundation. And like, I'm pretty extra little bit on my nose put it a little bit higher up than you think it's going to be because if you do it too low down it ruins the illusion of your nose just being this like perky little ski jump Boop. and then you just got to dab really quickly with this stuff dunk 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 dab 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 I mean I, I highlight the cupid's bow but I don't know if I'm about it you know like why does this part have to be shimmery like, I do it because the internet tells me to, but do I want this? Okay, I don't know if you can see how magical that is on the camera, but trust me, it's magical. It doesn't really show up on here, but it's like opalescent. This is the mascara I was talking about. Better than sex. I don't think so. Cool bottle. Cool bottle. I'll give it that. Like, it looks cool. It matches my aesthetic and pyjamas. Nice and heavy, but... It's clumpy AF. Not worth the money. Don't buy this. And I go and do my eyebrows. I use um, Benefit Eyebrow Pencil. What's it actually called? Precisely My Brow Pencil. Anyway, it looks like a scalpel, which is a good time. It's like you doping so he can breathe. This is the one thing that all the beauty bloggers actually promote that is, this is the shit. This is worth spending your money on. So I do like a line underneath the front bit of my brow. I bring it out a little bit because I just don't really have like m much eyebrow hair. Like this is the whack and like half my eyebrow hairs, I don't know if you can see, they're like white blonde. So um, I don't get a lot of work with. And then I'll do like that and I'll try and sort of bring them out because my eyebrows go down a fair bit and I think that makes me look sad. So I try and like create an illusion of happiness at all times um, 
even though I'm dying on the inside. And then I just like draw in some little fake hairs, make it look a bit natural and fluffy. Look at that difference already, like. How are you doing? And you get the other end, and you got like a little brushy thing. Keep it fluffy. I don't mind a little bit of a raggedy eyebrow. I think that when you put everything else on, helps things look more natural and real rather than it just being like this really fake face of precision chiseled eyebrows. Also, comment down below, have you tried the milk eyebrow um, gel? Like the Kush hemp one or something? Because um, I'm thinking about getting that and I feel that I need your advice. This eyebrow is my superstar of my two eyebrows and it knows it. And the other one just does its best to try and like keep up. Don't judge me, but this is what I do. So I get a brush with that kind of a tip on it and get a brown eyeshadow. Or like, sometimes brown eyeshadow can be a bit much and I draw on little like, I draw on freckles. And this is controversial, like fake freckles, annoying, yep. But what isn't fake, you know? Glitter on the side of my face, that's not natural really either, is it? But we're all fine with doing that. This again is to do with my thing of like, I don't like everything looking too perfect. And I think fake freckles actually make everything look a bit more sort of natural in a weird way. And then I get this again because it's got like that really fine tip and tapping in your freckles that is like the key and do the freckles before you do your blush so then i go over with this any natural kind of like spots you have cover them up with this so i've got this thing here on my lip like uh, there I used to have a lip piercing <laughs> in like the 2000s. I had like your stock standard skank piercing of that thing there. Um, and then like I woke up one day and realised this is ridiculous and I took everything out. But it was cool back then so, you know, bite me. I have this little red dot there and I don't know what it is, like a burst blood capillary or something and it's just not going away. It's not a pimple. It's not, it's just there. Like, but I'm thinking like... What if I just got it tattooed over the top into a freckle? Freckles now done. Next is blush. Do your freckles first because if you put your freckles on after your blush, they don't look as natural. They look better kind of hidden a bit under your blush. So I use the pink colour rebirth is what I use as my blush. I put a bit on my nose. I think I also, like for me, if you just add a little bit of pink to like your bridge it just makes the whole thing look like you're just a bit flushed you know like you're just this flushed dewy little like spring fairy who's just been for a bit of a run you know i reckon my favorite palette really is this one it's by violet voss this transition shade called transition and this palette has honestly lasted me forever. Like, there's so much pigment, there's so much shadow. There's so many shades in here. So I just, like, get a sort of fluffyish brush, whack that in my upper crease. I do it quite sort of past where you would even think eyeshadow should be because I feel that helps blend everything in later. So I'm going to go in with, like, Are You Kitten Me? with the same brush um, and just sort of like put it a bit more tightly in the crease and blend it out. I've just dipped into a little bit of hashtag, it's like an orangey shade and then a little bit of rebirth to sort of make my lid colour. I'm just going on like the outer corner of my lid and then again hashtag and rebirth and then I'm just gonna put it sort of like a halo a little bit effect in there a bit and then I'm putting shell straight on my finger rubbing just in the middle there I feel if you put shimmer shadows on with your finger I don't know if everyone said this a million times but I feel like they're more vibrant 
to do like my inner corner, getting like a roundish sort of brush. I'm going to get like a whiter color just as a base from, this is called Thanks a Latte. And I'm just going to like make a circle in there. But that's just the beginning. Then from the Venus 2 Grunge palette, this crazy little color here called Fly. I'm going to put that over the top of it. Actually, who are we kidding? I should use my finger. I'm going to dot that in there. We're going to work on the under eye region. Back in with the transition shade called Transition. And I just try and sweep everything back up again. Actually really hard trying to explain how and why you do your makeup. Yeah. So I'm just going to repeat a little bit of what I did on the bottom lash. So going in with this orange colour called Hashtag. And I'm going to mix that with the pink colour which is Rebirth. I'm going to put that just on the outer edge. I don't really I don't really do a lot on my under eye and then I'll just tidy up a little bit with a bit of um, powder. Now I'm going to give myself a bit of like that bone highlight. Highlight will be Crystal from this palette. Crystal is just that white shimmery shade. And put some more of that in a corner colour, which was the fly from the Grunge 2 palette. What if I spray my finger? Is this a thing? Does anyone do this? I just want it more intense. Oh, it worked! Alright, this is the thing. Spray your finger like you would your brush once you get the shadow on it, and then just like dab in there and it just becomes more intensified. I get like a little nude. Um, eyeliner pen and I do my inner waterline especially when you do pinks I think doing it in a waterline is really important because if your inner waterline is red looking then you look tired and hey Phoebe hey, F hey Phoebe you know what I mean eyeliner I was a big liquid eyeliner fan for a long time and then I realized that like it's a bit harsh on my eyes so I now just do it with eyeshadow and I just give the illusion of eyeliner, but I don't really do it. So I'm going back to this. I'm going to use Teddy Bear. The reason I like using Teddy Bear is it's a pretty warm brown. And I'll just sort of draw on roughly where eyeliner would be. Don't say anything in the comment section. I know I have a weird thing in my eye there. What is it? Not a wart, not a sky, okay? It's a... Um, like a white mole or something like does it bother me enough to get it removed probably one day has it bothered me enough to get it removed to this point no but I cover it up with a bit of makeup <laughs> how long have I been like not recording for <laughs> this is one of those mascaras that has like that cool um link thinning effect where they have like these little mini fibers in it so you if you brush it the right way your lashes end up like extra lengthened and who doesn't want that it's fine it's fine can you see so I like, I smudged some mascara down there. So now I've got to put on bottom mascara just to like make my eyes look normal. I probably wouldn't have done this otherwise. I probably would have just had top mascara, but now we've committed. Or as Bob Ross would say, it's a happy accident. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Actually, like maybe Bob Ross is right. And maybe bottom mascara is just going to feed into this whole like fake freckle pink eyeshadow cutie pie kind of doll face look maybe this was always meant to be see how like lengthening and amazing this mascara is it's like literally like twelve dollars it's got a good little applicator like it's it really is a good time do you know what i've just thought about that i've never actually 
considered before because I just bought it on impulse. I've never actually looked up if Model Co is animal cruelty free, if they test on animals or not. Now I'm concerned that I'm recommending something that may be tested on animals. I'm going to Google it. Yay, I Googled it. Model Co don't test on animals. The ultimate mascara. They're completely cruelty free. All right, so for lips today, we're going to do something exciting. I'm going to be using this lip stain. Um, you can actually make this out of beetroot juice and maybe I'll do a video on it. Um, but this stuff's super strong. I dab that on. And then before it dries too much. <laughs> At this stage you may be thinking, Sky, it just looks like you have eaten a red popsicle and this is not flattering. And to you I would say, hold on, I'm not finished. <laughs> because once I put some lip gloss on it all kind of blends in and um, looking like you've just eaten a popsicle is kind of my aesthetic and is summertime fucking freshness so now once you put your lip gloss on can you see this one's from Natio Na Na Natio Natio Na I can't even remember what I thought it used to be anymore now. I've said it too many times. NATO. NATO was the bomb place, so it must be Natio. Okay. So that's sort of what we're going for. Like, see how it just makes your natural lips look a bit redder, but you're still looking a bit dewy from the thing, and it just tones down all the other pink colours so you don't look so super colour fragilistic. That is my makeup tutorial of peachy um I've just sucked on a popsicle realness. Um if you've tried any of those products that I haven't tried, can you please let me know down below so I can learn from your mistakes. Thank you very much and I will uh see you next time. Do I, I just said that because other people say that. And because I'm extra, I'm one of these people that just never knows when to stop with makeup. And I just found some glitter. Is this going to ruin everything? Or is this the best idea I've ever had? It's a fine line. <gasps> oh, it's kind of looking like little pimples, but at the same time, oh my good. Okay, I, I need to stop. I need to stop.